welcome to Beach Scrub. This game is a game that was recommended to me. I did not know that it was related to games I've seen in the past. As you can see by the sniper, it's not really quite as many. You usually would have played at least three straight games, which I have. I've played for the tournament. Finished both of those games. So, if you guys want to watch those for, you know, to know what this one's about, or I guess, I don't know what this one's about. But, go ahead. I don't know if I will put it in the description. Always getting closer. This is apparently the game. I had no idea.
this does have a lot of the same aesthetics as these previous games I've played had from the same person. while driving.
read that.
brain, specifically the parietal lobe, was in the midst of committing a quiet mutiny. It was festering into a cancer that could be easily removed, but at the cost of completely compromising its mathematical ability. That's not how the parietal lobe works. Or whatever. I actually studied in psychology. That has something to do with your tactile, or not tactile, I'm sorry. It's like your senses and stuff. Sedimentary. Very complicated. A business. Yeah, write the book. I get it. There's a timer on the... This progress is not worth saving. Oh my god. I think this game... Was it free? I don't know. But Jesus Christ, I am way too hard. I have never been taught how to read and type at the same time. Like, I was never taught that. My school gave up on me. Alright, whatever. I can type exactly what I want to type in my brain at, like, enough speed, right? I'm pretty fast at typing if I know what I'm typing. Right? If I have to look up and type what I'm looking at, then I'm slow. Then I'm so slow. I'd rather just write it down. That's how it, it's as quick as that. This is a writing game. No. It might be like, not just a heat stroke, it might be like uh, a burnout. I don't know, as a writer, I'm writing, does my book actually have an impact on the story? Right? Or am I just, is it a writing game to make it so hard difficulty of what would be just a mundane driving game. I don't know. Because if it was just the driving aspect, then it would just literally be a waiting game. Right? It'd be the most boring thing ever. Like, you would have to do something with the driving. Right? I 
I love how this studio really likes to implement and try to go down so many different paths on gaming and game development. I think it kind of has that kind of vibe. game in there that I've played of them is so unique and so special that it doesn't feel like it's come from the same game developer at all. I had no idea that Swallow the Sea and Perfect Vermin came from the same gaming development team. Right? That's amazing. And this also shows that like it has that kind of unsettling vibe to it while also being different in almost every way, right? It feels, now that I know they are, it does feel like I can, I can feel it, right? Like on the radio, it was the same voice who was talking to you in Perfect Vermin, right? It didn't really feel all too much like Squall of the Sea. Squall of the Sea kind of feels more, more, the most different out of these three games. Right? But yeah. So good. I recommend you playing this game yourself, and if you know how to type, it's even better. Right? Um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please like, link, down below, and subscribe to me here. Make sure to ring the notification bell to be notified when we're videos. It helps a lot. And yeah. I will see you guys in a different game. Love you guys, and love this game. Bye!